Good day, I'm Tim, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you my new Burley Nomad cargo trailer. I'm also gonna show you how it connects to my Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2. So let me show you the Nomad, how compact it is, and how simple it is to put it together. The Burley Nomad in its compact splendor holds all of its parts inside. Unfolding the frame is a snap. Attaching the tow bar is just as easy. The wheels have a simple quick release push buttons. The Nomad has a safety flag that snaps together easily and slides into a little holding pouch. The Nomad also has internal mesh pockets and a divider that snaps into place if you need to separate your cargo. The Nomad has enough space for 105 liters of cargo, a waterproof rain cover that snaps easily into place, and has rear red reflectors and reflective piping as well as white reflectors on the front. At just 16.8 pounds and only 22 inches wide, with a carrying capacity of 100 pounds, you have a lot of cargo capacity in a small package. The Burley trailer hitch doesn't attach to the 12 millimeter through axle that comes on the Beast. I had to order a special 12 millimeter through axle for the Burley hitch. So uh, let's go install that right now. This is the standard 12 millimeter through axle that comes on the Beast. This is the Burley through axle. It's a 12 millimeter through axle for the Burley trailer hitch. The first thing will be to remove the through axle. It's really quite simple. Now because of the length difference with the Burley axle, we have to install this little spacer right here. The next thing we need to do is just grease the threads a little bit. And for me, I like to just grease the threads. And I also like to just smear it a little bit on the axle itself, just to ensure there's plenty of grease on it. Now from here, we just insert the axle into the hub. I can turn it by hand initially, but as it begins to tighten up, I need to take my 17 millimeter wrench and just tighten it up. So this is the threaded nut that comes with the Burley through axle, and this is the Burley trailer hitch. I'm just going to install the hitch onto the axle, the locking nut, so I don't need to put any Loctite or anything on it. When you get to the point of where it's firm, you need to lock in the nut onto the axle, but you have to be careful not to over tighten the axle into the, the hub and into the frame on the other side. So I'm going to use a 17 millimeter cone wrench and my standard 17 millimeter turn make sure they're tight and that's really all there is to it you can see here the burly hitch and the axle and how it attaches okay we're heading off to the store to try out the new trailer hitch While empty, the trailer rides so smoothly and corners so well you don't even know it's there. Even over bumpy roads and over speed bumps, it's barely noticeable.
As you can see here, it corners tightly without any impact on how the trailer rides. Nomad cargo trailer test. This is about 60 pounds of potting soil going into that trailer connected to that bike. When hauling cargo, you definitely notice the weight. And you notice a slight jerking up hills. But there were still no negative impacts on cornering, stopping, or just general handling of the bike. Home in one piece, all is good. Works great. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to put together. It's pretty simple to connect to the bike as long as you get the proper axle. And pound for pound, it does a great job for pulling the weight. There are other brands of cargo trailers out there that might better suit your needs, like the Bob trailer, with or without suspension, or Burley even makes a coho trailer. There are single wheel trailers that are better suited for single track. That's not my intention. Additionally, I'm not sure of the compatibility of those trailers with the through axle. They have a special double-sided axle where their hitch is attached to both sides of the axle. That's just not something that'll work with the design of the dropouts on the Beast. As always, look around and see what best suits your needs, but do your research first. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe, like, ring the bell for notifications, and feel free to add your comments below. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.